Hey y'all, in this video, I wanted to talk about being a Christian in the workplace. I wanted to talk about how do you still keep the faith in a worldly job? So it's been a year since I've been a pharmacist and working in a hospital setting. And one of the biggest things I've learned is that I'm no longer a student. You know, I'm not in the classroom. I'm not able to have like two, three hours in between classes to, you know, watch TV or pray or you know, get into my word, listen to some worship music, take a drive and talk to God. Like those things, you know, I don't have like all that extra free time. I guess I do, but like, it's like a little different now. And now you're like interacting with people. You're seeing people at work more than you see your friends. You're seeing people at work more than you see like, um, members at your church. Like, so it's, it, it can be, affect you a lot, especially like if you are in a work environment that isn't necessarily all Christian. Doesn't mean that it's a bad work environment, but it just means that you're not constantly around um, what you're used to as far as like um, being able to like grow in your faith um, or people pouring into you in that, in that way, in that setting. So I just wanted to share, you know, my journey through it and encourage y'all on how to continue to remain Christian, <laughs> even in a work environment that may not necessarily be Christian. And like I said, doesn't mean it's a bad work environment. It can very well be a healthy one, but as far as just like being able to stay true to who you are and not having to compromise um, what you believe is, as far as like, you know, what's in the Bible, your morals, your values, and yeah. One of the biggest things that I've learned or I realized with my job is that I cannot do my job on my own. I need God every single hour, every single minute, every single second of the day, especially when I'm working, especially in the career that I'm in. Um, it can get busy and you're verifying so many things. And you, like one of the biggest things that I do before even stepping foot into work is I just sit in my car, I just take a few minutes and pray. <laughs> my prayer is, is like, God, be my eyes, cover me, cover every patient I verify pr prescriptions for, orders for, cover everything that I do, be my guide. Biggest thing is be my eyes, Lord, you know. Help me to remember what I need, to be resourceful, um, and to, you know, be effective. You know, I know that God has brought me to, you know, this career and he has put me in this position. And so I cannot think for a second that I can do my job on my own without him. Like, I would be foolish to even think that. So... That's like a big thing for me of just always recognizing that I am here for a reason. And I am here because God has brought me here. And so I have to put him first in everything that I do. And that's like one of the biggest things that I would say. And I encourage you to do the same. Um, wherever you are working, you know, I'm sure there's a story or a testimony behind it. But before you go into work, pray, seek God, ask him to be your strength and to help guide you and to help provide for you and to help you be the best that you can be in the position that you have. Um, so that's a huge thing that, you know, I've learned and that I've received from working um, as far as like being able to like always making sure that I'm remembering that God has brought me here. And just because I'm working and in the motions, that I forget that. No, no. <laughs> if you are a Christian, if you are a follower of Christ, like your life is going to change. How you talk is going to change. Certain things that you do is going to change. Like certain, just your whole life changes. 
And like one of the things that, you know, I've heard from so many like coworkers is that like, wow, like you're just so calm. Like you're pretty calm. Like, why are you so nice? Like all these things. And, you know, it's just reflective of, you know, if you are following Christ, it's not that like, I have to be nice. I have to be calm. I have to be this. It's just that he just transformed your heart and your life so that you do have peace, internal peace, which shows outwardly, you know, people are going to see that you're not going to give into the same things that a lot of people give into. Don't get me wrong. We're still human. And I have my moments where I'm just like, I want to explode. <laughs> but most times I don't <laughs> by the grace of God. <laughs> but one of the things that I realize is really important is do not forget who you are in your workplace. Do not forget that you are a child of God and that there are going to be coworkers looking at you and seeing that there is something different about you, that there is a peace that you have that surpasses all understanding, that there is like a calmness that you experience that makes no sense. And you know, when people say that, I'm just like, <laughs> God's grace, like seriously. You know, so that's like something that like I give credit to God with what I do. A verse that is really encouraging for me that I always remember as far as like working wherever it may be. It's Colossians 3 verse 23 to 24. And it says, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Knowing that from the Lord, you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. I love this verse because God is basically saying like, don't work, you know, as like unto men work as if you are working unto me, like you are serving me, like whatever you're doing, work as unto the Lord. And I love that because it reminds me that I don't have to give in to my flesh. I don't have to give in to certain things in the workplace just because it's at a worldly position or just because it's not Christian or just because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's just not like what you would think. Like it's not serving in church that you don't have to, you know, put in the work. You don't have to be punctual. You don't have to do the best that you can just because it's worldly and it's not church. But, you know, God is saying work as unto the Lord, like whatever you are doing, put forth your best effort whatever you are doing, put God first, keep God at the center, allow him to be your strength. Don't get me wrong. This can be very difficult. <laughs> Work can be crazy to the point that you're just like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? I'm over this. I'm done. I'm frustrated. And I've gotten to those points. And this always centers me back. It circles me back. And it's like, hey, work as if you're working unto the Lord. You know, when you're serving in church on Sunday, you have a smile on your face. At least I do. You know, I'm on the host team. So like, I'm like greeting people when they're coming in like, hello, welcome, you know. So we should be doing the same at our workplace. We should be excited. It may not be fun. It may not be enjoyable, but work as if you are working unto the Lord. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned as far as like um, being in my career um, it's been a year in and some days are hard, but understanding this verse and really just like having it in my heart is my constant reminder that I'm not working for man. God has brought me here. God has a purpose. God has a plan. And this is all part of it. So I'm going to continue to work according to how he needs me to work and not necessarily according to man. You know, and so that's like something that I want to encourage all of you to do as well. You know, it can get very easy to, you know, feel like you're just over it. And don't get me wrong. If you are in a work environment that is toxic, that is not healthy, trust me, God will provide the doors <laughs> to help you get on your way out of there. But if you are in a position that you know that God has led you to, that you know that God is is leading you to and guiding you through like work willingly as unto the Lord. It is many different versions. So I'm sorry if I'm saying like different things, but um, I know like the NLT version says work willingly at whatever you do as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. 
that's it. <laughs> you know, so whatever you are doing, work as unto the Lord. You know, my biggest thing is that God really, really, really provided me with this job. And so when I work, I go in there and I'm like, let's do this. Let's get this going because I lean into God's strength. I lean into God's peace because it's not my strength. It's not my peace that's going to get me through. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So my biggest thing is that I'm going to work as unto the Lord. I'm not working as unto man. <laughs> you know, I'm not working as unto my paycheck, even though that's nice. <laughs> but I'm making sure that God is at the forefront and that he is my strength and that he is my peace. And even on the rough days that I'm leaning into his strength, even on the rough days that I'm leaning onto him because I cannot do this on my own. So that's the biggest thing that I can say. But that's pretty much what I wanted to share in this video. And I really hope it encourages all of you who are, you know, working and you're just feeling like over it um, and you just need some encouragement. But I just hope that this reminds you to work as unto the Lord and not unto yourself or unto man, but just to do everything in excellence as if you are working unto God and allow him to be your guide and your strength. And especially if you're trying to decide whether this is a job that you want to stay at or if you want to go, allow God to be your guide. Pray, seek him fast, like trust that um, wherever you are is where you need to be because you can learn something from it and that he will open the doors. He will close the doors. He will do whatever he needs and place you wherever you need to be. Um, so even if it's a tough situation, try to learn as much as you can from it. But like I said, of course, every situation is different. If you are in toxic, if you are in a toxic environment and it is unhealthy and you know that God does not need you there, then definitely take the necessary steps to get on out of there. <laughs> but that's it. Y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.